Hello, this is SAT1 Math, and my name is Joe Beck. So, we will be starting our lecture series on SAT1 Math and everything you would need uh, for the SAT1 Math. So, it's going on right away, and don't worry, we're not going to jump right into problems. Um, you know, I'm not that quick to do math just yet, right? But these are the types of problems that you will be seeing on the SAT1 Math. For example, it says if uh, g of x is equal to x times 2 to the x power, then g of a plus 1 minus g of a is equal to etc. Right, so this type of problem. Next one, the figure at the right, the legs of a right triangle a, B, a, C, B are diameters of two semicircles. If a, B is equal to 4, what is the sum of the areas of semicircles, etc, etc, right? And then we have long, long problems that are like huge, right, that take up the whole screen as well. Okay, now the reason why I'm showing you all of this stuff is because, um, you know, if whether you recognize it or not, right, SAT problems can be a little bit challenging. So even though you probably have covered most of the math that you will need for it, um, you know, a lot of students, when they first approach it, they're not, they're not sure what to do, right? When they see such problems, when they see such shapes, and they're like, what's going on, right? Now, even before we start anything, let me e try to motivate you a little bit into why studying SAT1 math is actually not that bad, right? First of all, here is a weird looking flower, but at the same time, it's a very beautiful beautiful flower, right? Well, the whole reason why flowers are so beautiful is because they have a lot of geometry in them. And that's a little lame, but at the same time, if you think about it, right, um, mathematics shows us even why we see things such as flowers to be so beautiful. But math also becomes, uh, becomes very practical in our lives as well, right? All of us will, you know, some of us drive cars, and I know a lot of you guys will drive cars eventually, or if you don't, you see cars on the road, right? And, you you know, math goes into everything about how a car works, how it functions, when it turns, how it turns, you know, um, safety ratings, things like that, right? Also, right, one thing that all of us love when it comes to life is getting paychecks, getting paid, making money, right? And even getting paid is all about the numbers as well. So math goes into even calculating our pay, how much pay we get, how much we'll need in order to survive. Okay, so end product is, well, end product is, right, that SAT 1 math study of it will not only help you with, uh, you know, conquering SAT 1 math and getting a good SAT score and therefore going into a decent college, but it'll also help you to know problems so that you can solve everyday things, right? And no matter what you do in life, I remember I had an argument with a friend about this before, some sort of math will go into, will figure into whatever you do. Okay, so you know, as we go over all the topics um, throughout all these lectures that we have, you know, try to have a little bit of fun and try to apply it to your lives as well. Okay, so uh, before we go, if I ran on way too much, right? Let me actually introduce myself a little bit. So again, my name is Joe Beck, right? Uh, this is uh, Johns Hopkins University, this is Gilman Hall, the main building, right? This is our Johns Hopkins crest, right? So as you could tell, I probably went to Johns Hopkins, okay? So I actually graduated uh, last year, which is the class of 09, as a psychological and brain science major. Sounds fancy, but you know, overall, I was just a psychology major with a, a concentration in biology. Okay, um, as you can see me here, I'm a little bit ugly in this picture, right? But this is my graduating class of 09. Um, you know, had a lot of fun in college and learned a lot. And therefore, you know, I come to you here today, not just uh, knowing SAT1 math because I went to Hopkins, right? But just telling you as well that um, even as I went to Hopkins, even as as I went to you know upper level schooling right the simple math that I learned right the math that is the foundation of 